Hello again everyone, what's up and what's going down? How are y'all doing today? Dizzy back here with another episode, bringing you game seven of the NBA Finals. We're taking on the Denver Nuggets, Kobe Bean Bryant, the Black Mamba, rocking that yellow jersey to kick things off. Let's see if we could get this victory, guys. Honestly, I, I really thought we were gonna win it in game six, but we gotta end the series with a bang here in game seven. Do or die, LeBron James versus Kobe Bryant, James Harden versus Larry Bird, Penny Hardaway, and the rest of the Denver Nuggets. They are superiorly talented, but we have, I guess you could say me. <laughs> we have human intelligence, or whatever you want to call it, because it's probably not intelligence. <laughs> LeBron James throwing it down, getting the dunk. We have a 6-2 lead early on in the game, and LeBron powering his way on, getting another basket. Kobe Bryant yet to be seen in this series. No points from Kobe. Three minutes into the game, Larry Bird pulling up from the elbow, knocking the shot down, giving them a good basket. LeBron James doing what he's got to do. Larry Bird out of position. I'm going to give it to Yao Ming, who's going to find the open Vince Carter. Kobe was there, but Vince Carter knocks down the shot. Bryant to Larry Bird. Vince Carter doing something crazy. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The Hall of Fame defense for your CPU players. It's just so dumb. He was, he just left Kobe Bryant wide open, and that's how they get their open shots a lot of the times. And it's just not even funny. Right there, though, Vince Carter making up for that horrible play. And LeBron gets an easy dunk off of it. Here we go. Back into action. Looking like we're ready for this game right here. Vince Carter making up for that mistake, which is something, honestly, that should not have happened but it is what it is. Paul George off the bench, knocking down a three-pointer. We still have a three-point lead, and James Harden gonna bring that ball up. Here in game seven, guys, usually I like to just go straight with LeBron, not really trying anything else, but Vince Carter is making a name for himself, right? Doing what he's gotta do, and he's actually stepping up big time after that horrible defensive decision against Kobe Bryant. Smith passing it to Jeremy Lin. Lin able to get the shot to fall, giving them two more points. Only down four in this game. That is not a safe position to be in when you are me. So I'm going to give it back to Vince. And he's been knocking down shots, and he's getting another one to go. Perfect release. Jeremy Lin now dribbling the ball up. We had a great crossover on Jay Lin in the last game. It was actually absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. But Blake Griffin, Gryffindor, throwing it down on Hufflepuff. <laughs> Here we are. Blake Griffin actually having himself a decent series. Not standing out too much, but defensively, that's where we take advantage of Blake. He's doing great offensively, just putting himself in position to score, just as we did there. And what a horrible pass by Jeremy Lin. And the ref is throwing some shade at Lin's sanity, giving him... That evil look, staring up off into the distance, just rolling his eyes. That was nice. And then again, Jalen unable to get that shot to go. But Blake Griffin in great position, boxing out. Oh, who, who was on the court at that time? I think it was Joel Embiid. Doesn't really matter. It's all good. He boxed out his defender and got the score. My goodness. Our bench players are... Two tier, three tier players, they're actually stepping up in this game. It is clutch time right now. Joe Johnson again for three. Something that the other team has been doing to us all series, just raining down threes. And here they go. Steve Smith, of course. They've been doing it all series. Why wouldn't they do it now? Can we get something? Just something substantial. It's a nine point lead, but I don't trust it because of the fact that they're just so good. Let's go, Michael Cooper. A perfect release from Michael Cooper. Our role players are stepping up here in game seven and they're just letting it fly. Vince Carter. No, no good that time. But Amari Stoudemire. What in the world is going on right now? Perfect dunk 
Greatness all around. And oh my goodness, Kobe Bryant. Wide open, but he missed it. Weber on the putback, and he gets it to go. We have a 12-point lead, guys. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. This game is looking like it's going to be ours. I'm loving what I'm seeing, especially from our role players. Vince Carter, Joe Johnson, Michael Cooper. Those guys are really just amping up their game for game seven. If you're not excited for what you're seeing right now, Kobe Bryant knocking down a shot. But if you're not excited for this battle between two of the best teams in the NBA in our My League, then I don't know what's wrong with you guys. But if you are hyped, hit that subscribe button, that like button. We got plenty of stuff on the way coming at you in the month of May. Guys, we still have our other my league series where we have our creative players coming up right after this i wanted to show them individually just because i don't want to go back and forth between the two but after this right after this literally right after this we have our creative players my league series going to take off and we're going to try to do our best to get that out within this week and then to top it all off after that series is done we're going to be doing some rebuilds we're going to be doing some draft series and vince carter again making a name for himself this guy, honestly, Vince Carter, in my opinion, is one of the most overrated superstars in the NBA when he was a superstar. Yes, he reinvented the power of a dunk. He made all of these great things that players really look up to and especially aspiring players who want to be great dunkers. They look to Vince Carter for that. You can attribute players like Blake Griffin, even role players like Kent Bazemore and other guys to have a high esteem for Vince Carter because of what he's done for the dunk. But in terms of accomplishments and accolades, other than maybe a dunk contest, Vince Carter is really just so overrated, it's, it's not even funny. If you look at his career accomplishments, there's not much there that really have lasting effects. Other than what you say about his dunks, it's not there. He's just an empty stat kind of player and it never really translated into championships, into awards. It's just, that's his career. That's what his career turned out to be. Great player, great athleticism, but if you stack him up against even guys like, I don't know, Kobe, LeBron, even lower tier stars like Pau Gasol, who has the more accomplished career? It's kind of a little, I don't know, I guess you could say stacked against his favor, but with that being said, he is stepping up here in this game seven. He's wanting that championship. Loving what I'm seeing from the guy. It's just not even funny. If you really just look at his career, it's um, now he's just in a mentor type of role in Sacramento, and that's pretty much over. I don't know if he's gonna be playing next season. If he does decide to retire, it's been a good career. It's not a great career. Who, uh, he might even make the Hall of Fame just because of his dunking prowess. But in all honesty, I don't think he should make the Hall of Fame if that's all you're basing it on. But with that being said, right now the Denver Nuggets have fought back into the game and taken the lead 54 to 48. Two minutes, 43 seconds in this game and Larry Bird knocking down a three-pointer, giving them a nine-point lead and of course they fight back. That's what they do. That's just how it is. You can't stop the Hall of Fame cheese, as Chris Smoove would say. Yao Ming, though, getting a good look at the basket. Paul George bringing the ball up, number 13. Here we go. Bryant passing it to George, trying to take Joe Johnson off the dribble, and he does. And he gets the foul, and he's hyped up. He is just excited. He senses a championship in his future. 62 to 57. Embiid defending Walton. Bad jump, but we still get the defensive stop. Embiid bringing the ball up, pushing off Bill Walton. We got to get the ball in a ball handler's hands. Johnson cutting all the way to the rim. We missed it. Yao Ming, though, with the rebound. We make it. He's on the ground. He should have been fouled right there. He had three defenders around him, but still no call. What is going on? I'm just pulling up. I don't know why, but I'm knocking it down. Joe Johnson is clutch. 65 to 63. I didn't think that Larry Bird would get there in time, but he did. But we still made the shot. It's a championship, guys. This is what we live for. Amari Stoudemire rejecting the lob. 
pulling it down himself and Cooper in the corner looking away from the basket after he let it fly and it went in. We have a one point lead here in Denver. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining and we get a steal with James Harden. Harden all the way laying it up. It is gold. Two more points for the New Jersey Knights here in the Mile High City Arena. James Harden guarding Hardaway. Walton was open for a few, but Paul George, three-pointer, ties the game up, and it is a 68-68 to 68 affair. I'm going to get an ISO on Larry Bird right now. Let's go to the right. Let's pull up at the elbow, and let's knock it down, LeBron James, clutching it up. Who says LeBron's not clutch? Penny Hardaway gets it stripped to Hardaway again. Pump faking. Rejection again. Here we go. 70 to 68. LeBron James lobbing it up to Amari Stottlemyre. It was an unsafe play. This is the play that we tried to do in game one. And we finally got it to work. It's now 74 to 70. The score. Hashtag Bars, now James Harden getting involved, and he gets the end one. Pau Gasol not liking what he's seeing. This game is slipping away for the Denver Nuggets, but Kobe fights back, not saying that it's over, but it's practically over if we can get a basket. 76 to 73. Let's go, let's get that screen. Oh my goodness, yeah, why did you leave right away? I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. Weber to Kobe. Kobe pulls up. Kobe missed. Kobe missed. Kobe missed. 27 seconds remaining. LeBron all the way inside. And one and one. <laughs> Pau Gasol fouls again. What just came out of my mouth? That was weird. That was weird. But wow, that's going to be game, guys. That's got to do it. They're giving it to Penny. Penny knocks it down, but seven seconds remaining. If we can knock down one free throw, this game is over. Oh, Kobe tried to foul. He missed it. Give it to Vince. Give it to Vince. Oh, well, it's all good. Amari, please make these free throws. Make at least one. Please make one. We got one. This game is over, guys. We are now the NBA champions. The title is going home. To New Jersey, the first year team, the expansion team, taking home the title. LeBron James leads his Knights into a championship run. Here we go, Kobe. No way, no how, not even to stat pad. It's all over. We win the championship. We are now the NBA champions. The New Jersey Knights, led by King James, are the NBA champs. Hit that like button, subscribe, because this was actually so intense. I'm sweating right now. I've got goosebumps because I know how hard it was to get here. We had to go through Chris Paul in one of the rounds in a double overtime loss. Guys, it's over. Just listen and see the highlights. Moment of silence. We are the NBA champions. Raise the trophy up. Larry O'Brien is coming home to New Jersey. Here we are. Nene, you didn't do anything for the team, but you are a champion nonetheless. Joe Johnson, Michael Cooper, Amari Sotomayor, all getting some props. LeBron, the finals MVP. 50 points for LeBron in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Adios.